Eric, thank you. We were all looking forward to this, and I was worried when you weren't here, and uh, I'm glad to see that you made it. I'm here, and again, expressing just my opinion, Eric's speech was how to change people. And it was to present, a, and it was part of Persuade with Power. His goal was to present a persuasive speech that combined logical support for his viewpoint with a strong emotional appeal. And the speech was also to focus on the self-interest of the audience. I thought that the emotional appeal was certainly there initially when he talked about his relationship with his stepfather. I did think the Tasmanian devil and Incredible Hulk was an interesting picture. I, I think you could have expanded on that just a little bit more. When you talked about the male capris, that was another <laughs> good image. And then when you talked about having your children, I think that was something that the audience began to identify. We couldn't necessarily all identify with the rest of that stuff, but when you started talking about having children, that was where we were able to identify. And then you asked the audience, do you want to know the secret of changing people? And that's a great tactic to bring people in. And plus, yeah, I want to know the secret to changing people. And of course, your answer was that we have to change ourselves. And I was inspired by your bravery of changing yourself over holidays. <laughs> makes me think that all I do over holidays is just get bigger. <laughs> it's nice that you change in other ways. And your idea about telling myself one thing that I like each day about myself and knowing that somebody will agree with that. And today, of course, it was your bow tie. You, you uh, had props in that you had your bow tie with you. And you did move effectively around the stage, made nice eye contact with people. A lot of your information was anecdotal, and of course what I thought was the logical part of your, of, of your speech was that of course the only person that we can change is ourselves. And the way that we change other people is by changing ourselves. So that that was truly a, a logical yet an emotional approach and certainly was something that we all could share in. And I also think that the idea that our self-esteem in part comes from how other people treat us in our young life is a good reminder to all of us. And that at some point, we are finally in control of that. We can't control it when we're children and we may have to run off porches or run from people. But at some point in our lives, we do take control of that and you emphasize that very well. The only change that I would make is that I did think that before you got into the body of your speech, you did have a long introduction. It was an effective setup, but I think it I wasn't sure how long we were going to be there before we got into the actual topic. But it, again, it was one of your great speeches and we all look forward to it. So thank you, Eric.